Hello there. Good afternoon and welcome to Prime Media TV. This is the market today with Moses. My name is Moses and this is the market today. We go on a quick break. When we come back, we'll hit the nail on the head. Don't go away. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Over the last couple of months, the prices of goods and commodities have become extremely very high, thereby reducing the demand and causing a scare to Nigerian economy. On this segment of the market today, we'll be showing you former prices, present prices, and how the current situation have reduced the sales from the sellers to the buyers. We'll visit the markets today and here is what they have to say. Let's go. We'll be right back. Yeah, welcome back to the marketplace. My name is Moses. As um, you have been told that uh, we are in a lesser com market and um, I'm here with G. Cruz. G. Cruz. And G. Cruz has a store here. Um, he sells um, cereals, he sells ingredients, he sells... Um, Tin, tomatoes, send, send, sells to, in fact, everything concerning food, food items. She does that here. So, um, could you tell us more about, you know? Okay. Um, well, actually, you know, this is Dio Kitchen Essentials. We have all your kitchen essentials here. We sell a lot of stuff like we have our granite oil, palm oil. We sell spices also, semo and all that. Okay. So, and we also do home delivery in case you don't want to stress yourself. You just like, Want to order it from you understand okay yeah okay so um last year this is ducros curry for powder me. yes yeah. last year how much was it last year this was sold for 250 250 but now it's 350 350 yeah. additional 100 now yeah why do you think um it has added price um you know because of the new governments do i'm going to say that and um you know some prices just inflation also um affected this okay. so some prices just go up because of Foil cost and all mm -hmm. that transportation has increased, mm -hmm. and most of all these um, suppliers, the um, distributors, mm -hmm. they will just add money to it because of oil and all that. I think it's because of the four year and dollar again has also increased. Though they produce this in Nigeria, but okay. the price, <laughs> <laughs> the price okay. Is okay. So last, um, this is um, golden terra. terra. Yes, yeah. It's a it's a vegetable oil. How much was this sold last year? Three thousand. Yeah. What now? Nice four thousand. Four thousand. It will be in some of one thousand naira. Yeah. Um, he has said it already. He said um, uh, removal of fuel subsidy, yeah. dollar, um, exchange rate, and also inflation has caused all of this. But how do you manage to get your customers? Did they, they reduce or um, have they increased? They, you know, most of them understand that it's everywhere. So mm -hmm. they don't really see like it's just um, like my shop increasing mm -hmm. the prices. It's all over the oh, nation, no, so no. They, just, okay. they just have to buy it like that. They just have to buy like, but <laughs> they have reduced their demand, yeah? Yeah, not really, though. But no. most of them, they just go for the one they can afford. Okay, cheaper ones. Yeah, the cheaper ones, because oh. they're also cheaper oil. Okay. Apart from Terra, there's kids. No, kids is more expensive than Terra. Than Terra. Kids for five. Okay. So, the other oil is like... Um, I think Terra is not the cheapest here. <laughs> Terra is the cheapest here. Okay, so you have, you have heard it all. He said that when his customers come, they go for the cheaper ones so that, you know, they could afford and do their bidding. Okay, so how, if we want to reach you, if people want to reach you, your customers want to reach you, how do they reach you? You have yeah. a phone number? Yeah, we have a phone number. Okay. Yeah, and you can reach me through my phone number. You can also text me on WhatsApp with the same phone number. Okay, and okay. don't forget to do home delivery. Anywhere in Lagos State, as far as it's on this island, they'll deliver to you. But just be ready to pay just a token of one delivery fee. fee. And, just be one and that's it. When you're staying on the island, it was within Ibejuleki, 500 is cool. But if you're staying like towards Lekki, EBI, then you're going to pay like 1.5. One five. Okay, this is Duo Kitchen Essentials. And um, they are located at LS Econ Market. They are very, very, very good at what they do. Please patronize them and don't forget to whatsapp them and yeah. also do you have an instagram page um, um not, not yet really, yeah. okay so 
disabled. Underneath this video, you have their phone number so that you could um, visit or call and text them when you need anything. Thank you so much, um, yeah. G Cruz. Yeah. Uh, Chris. G Cruz. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's Welcome back to the studio. It's a pity that um, and things are like this. You heard um, the 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 owner of um, Joe Kitchen Essentials. He sells um, ingredients and sell all kitchen um, essentials that you'll be needing and ingredients or, or, and so food stuff in general. And he had to complain about the the the, the prices that um, the cost of production and things that they use in producing has made the manufacturers, you know, increase the prices because of fuel and um, removal of fuel subsidy. And then the cost of transportation from the uh, um, warehouse down to their store is something mm, to nothing to write them about. That is the current situation. I asked him, my father asked him, I said, so how is sales now running? How do you get your customers? And he said that customers don't even demand for for, for much right now, they actually will not have to, you know, go for what their money would buy, what their money can buy, and um, it has reduced demand, thereby reducing the supply. So the the higher the goods, the lower the demand and supply, and the lower the the price of goods, the higher the demand and supply. That is from, um, um, you know, Joe Kitchen Utensils, um, Joe Kitchen Essentials, rather. So you could reach them out. They are in Ibejuleki, Elesekon, to be precise. And their phone number is really on our timeline, on our page. Um, do not forget to, you know, text them and also follow them. Um, we also visit someone else and um, here is what they have to say. Stay tuned. Good afternoon. Uh, what's in your name? My name is Olatunji. 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 Okay, so you get some ranch here. Yes. Okay, you get cows to the sale. I have, I have goats. Wow. I'm also selling chicken. Okay, I'm also selling chicken. Yes. Okay, so um, the price, like one year ago, yeah. how much been, How much did they sell cow before? Uh, it depends on size. Okay. We have uh, medium, we have biggest one, we have the smallest one. Okay. It's by size. Okay. Now, uh, the market I have now, I have the rate of 650, 650, 550, 550 500, 500, which I have 700, 700. 850. Oh. So we have, okay, so we have it like that. So the price before last year changed from this year? Yes. Okay, so what do you think say change and what do you make and change? Uh, normally, what you change the price, you know, all of us, we are Nigeria. Yeah, we know what is happening in Nigeria yeah, now, yeah. consigning fuel yeah. issue, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Like before, from nuts, when we buy uh, to one trailer of cow, mm. let's say the transport, let's say 500. Mm. But by now, we are spending like uh, 850, 900 wow. for trailer. Uh, so we are going to share the money into the market okay. as the market is doing, they share the price. Oh, uh, so okay. So um, if person now won't reach you, how you go take reach you? Uh, normally, I'm here. Okay. Personally. Okay. As I was saying, I'm selling cow, I'm selling goods, selling chicken. Okay. When well, you want to see me, I have my contacts, which I can... Okay, you can give to me. Yeah. Okay. And we are also do delivering of okay. markets okay. to anywhere inside Lagos. Okay, so this is Mr. Latsunji. He can do delivery delivery of cow, chicken, or goats to anywhere in Lagos State. This is Shakpati, um, a lesser corn market. You can find him behind Area J Police Station. You can find him when you come. I'll give you more details when we're viewing. Thank you. Good, good afternoon. Uh, that is Mr. Tunji, uh, Ola Tunji of the lesser corn market. He sells livestock. He sells cows. He sells chicken. He sells goats. And um, he said that prices have really, really skyrocketed. That when he goes to, to his um, wholesaler to get these things and he finds out that things have now become very expensive, you have to top up the prices of those. So those that they, 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 those livestock they sell 550,000 Naira before will now you know, automatically be 600, uh, um, 600 Naira. Uh, 650,000 naira, sorry, or 700,000 naira. You understand? Based on the the transportation, the cost of transportation, don't you think that is that is extremely 
very, very high. And I'm telling you, I don't blame any of these retailers because things are really, really expensive right now. Like you, you heard two of them, they said, um, why these things have skyrocketed is because we have, um, we have we, them fuel subsidy have been removed from, from fuel petrol price and it has increased, transportation has increased, thereby causing transportation increment. Now, the cost of moving these things, items from the producers or manufacturers to their shop is very, very expensive. So um, they actually make little or no profit. So they have to you know, increase the price anytime they go to the market to get things. And these things, these prices affect the, 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 the buyers. The buyers will come us that go there to buy. It will affect us because we will not be able to get the, 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 the particular stock that we want to get. It will, it will now reduce our demand. It will also reduce supply. These things are caused by the removal of fuel subsidy, cost of transportation, cost of production, and dollar rates. That's the exchange rate. We implore that the government should, we implore the government to do something about this. Our citizens are suffering, the masses are suffering, everyone is barely struggling to even barely eat. We need to understand the, the plight of the people and make sure that we do something very, very fast. This is where we come to a close of today's segment of the market today. Join us tomorrow for another exciting and interesting segment of the market today. My name is Moses. This is Prime Media TV. And do not forget to follow us on all social media platforms and also follow these people, the, the, the sellers who sell, so that you could locate them and get them, their, their stock and whatever they sell. Remember, they said they do home delivery, so they will deliver to your doorstep. My name is Moses. This is Prime Media TV. And for now, I say goodbye.